we drove down one day and Maggie was here and I met her. She just started crying and, and she just was so desperate for help. I was like, I can't turn my back on her. My name's Selena. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I see that the condition of the dog and I start to feel him. Thank you. It's incredible. <laughs> It's a very horrible death. Uh, we were in traffic, and the man in front of me, there was a, a dog playing in front of his car, and he got bored, so he ran over the dog. It's a tough decision on the fact that you can either take your dog to a shelter and let it get euthanized, which is 98% of all dogs, or bring them to this beach where they might have a machete to them, for goodness sake. three years we've rescued hundreds of dogs we've helped feed hundreds of dogs every day on beaches throughout Puerto Rico right now we have 20 uh, dogs in the vet and we also have vaccinated and uh, helped spayed and neutered about 30 dogs this week Selena found us on our website, uh, islanddog.org, and her, she called us up and asked us if she could help us. Selena really understands what we're doing because at home she has four shelter dogs of her own. Today on this beach, I'm helping vaccinate some of these dogs. The people that bring the dogs here, necessarily, they, they think of the positive things, that they're among other dogs of their kind, and, and that's they don't really think of the negative things that can happen. I'm working with Island Dog to do something about this problem. Hi, my name is Christy Beckles, and this is a Boom Boom Beckles. And she's a rescue from Puerto Rico. And uh, we're in Gleason's gym in Brooklyn, in New York. And Boom Boom is one of the uh, official mascots of Gleason's gym, uh, along with her brother, Basher, who's not here today. But she comes in here and, and helps me train. I'm an amateur boxer. And uh, Boom Boom's story starts in Puerto Rico. We, we rescued her from over there. And the shelter had pretty horrific conditions. We got a phone call from one of the workers in there pleading with, with a rescue group to help them because dogs were dying um, from lack of general care and um, food, water, and medical attention. Dogs, dogs should not be treated like dirt. Most of these dogs will die of illness, starvation, or abuse. We're not saying that people are horrible, it's just it's a tough decision. Either way, the dogs lose. Let's get these dogs adopted into a safe home and just out of, out of this place. Right now we have three dogs that we adopted in January that we found on the streets of Puerto Rico and one of them was pregnant, which we didn't know when we found her on the street and she's had five puppies, so we have eight. And we have two more dogs coming up through Island Dog in the next three or four weeks. She's part Maltese and everyone who meets her on the street falls in love with her because she walks like a little print princess. She's very dainty. These dogs are some of the sweetest I've ever owned. I've owned dogs my whole life and immediately they fit in as part of your family. She, we were able to house train within a week. Our other dog, was house trained when we got him and he was a puppy so we think he was actually born on the street so it's a miracle.
name is Chrissy Beckles and I decided to do something. Hi, my name is Katrina Pape and I decided to do something. That's why we're doing something. And we want you to do something now. You can do something too. And you can do something also. I'm holding two separate auctions at www.charitybuzz.com. The first one is a gift basket with a bunch of personal stuff that I had signed. The second is a $1,000 shopping spree and lunch with me. Visit charitybuzz.com for more information. And don't forget to go to islanddog.org to find out how you can help these animals.